If you own a motorhome RV, I bet you've seen this video several times. I know I have. I've even studied it in slow motion, looking for clues. What did this driver do right? What did they do wrong? Here's someone in a Tuscany motorhome, just like mine, towing a half-ton pickup, just like mine. His results were disastrous. I'm a full-time RVer. Everything that Don and I own is in our coach. I think about this video every time we hit the open road. I always replay the mental image in my mind every time we cross a bridge or an overpass, and I always wonder, what am I going to do when I have a front tire blowout? I've taken my safety precautions very seriously. I've weighed my coach. I've bought a tire pressure monitoring system. I monitor my tire pressures and temperatures every second of every trip that we make, but yet, it still happened. You just heard two beeps. The first was to censor Dawn's reaction to being frightened from what sounded to be a shotgun blast. The second sound that you heard was my tire pressure monitoring system alerting me that all of the air had left my right front tire. Several have seen this video and asked me, did the TPMS actually help me any in this particular situation? And other than checking the tire pressures constantly while going down the road, it gave me no indication that I was about to have a catastrophic tire failure. We do have Good Sam roadside assistance. So we gave Good Sam a call and they promised uh, that they would send somebody out within the hour, but they actually arrived in about two hours, which still all in all was not too bad. We were, however, completely at the mercy of the tire company and roadside service uh, organization to bring out any spare that they could find that would fit our motorhome. Uh, we currently uh, have Michelins on the coach, and they brought out a no-name uh, tire that I really don't feel comfortable using in any capacity other than a spare. However, the spare that they brought me was sufficient to get me off of the road safely and get me to my next destination where I had some time to examine my tires and make a decision whether or not I was going to replace all of the remaining tires at this point. I always give my tires a visual inspection after arriving at my destination. At my previous stop, I did notice a very minimal amount of sidewall cracking, which is also my own indication that the tires needed to be replaced soon. As I'm past the bifocal age, I often seek the assistance of the camera on my smartphone to help me read the very small lettering on the tires. After looking at this video, I realized that my own eyesight was not able to clearly see just how severe the sidewall cracking really was. A few years ago, Don and I joined the Family Motor Coach Association. The FMCA is a great organization to join. While they have many perks after you join, the one benefit that interested me the most was their tire discount program. The program was going to save me a substantial amount of money on new Michelin, Continental, or Hanuk tires from Motorhome. However, I was only interested in the Michelin. After we arrived safely at our destination in Brooksville, Florida, I was officially in full-on tire replacement mode and started my research to replace my coach's tires. As the advertised FMCA price was almost $5.50 per tire times six tires, I wanted to explore all of my options. I called the nearest large tire specialist. They did have a resident RV expert who was very familiar with the FMCA's discount program. And while he was more than happy to assist me with new Michelin tires through the FMCA, he encouraged me to take a look at a particular tire made by Toyo. After he explained that the Michelins that I had on my rig were a 14-ply tire and that Michelins were well known for their comfortable ride because it features a softer sidewall, he then explained that the Toyo had a stronger sidewall and may not be as smooth a ride. If you ask me, with everything that I have riding on my tires, I'm going to opt for strength over comfort any day. Additionally, the Toyo is a 16-ply tire and has a higher load capacity range for extra safety. To top that, the Toyo tires would cost me around $1,000 less than the Michelin's with the FMCA discount applied. When I asked if the Toyo's had any downsides, my sales guy said that the Toyo's tread would wear out just a little faster than the Michelin's. Uh, he then followed up with, but I'd never seen any RV ever wear out their tread. Normally RV tires age out before they ever wear out. As I am spending thousands of dollars on a consumable item, I wanted more than a night to do research to help me make this decision. At the end of the day, I could not find anyone who had anything bad to say about Toyo tires, so I decided to have them installed on my coach. The Toyos cost me about $1,000 less than the Michelins with the FMCA discount. Total drive-out price for six Toyos with installation, balancing, etc. was $2,885.72. 
and that's a significant savings. Also, did I mention that while you're getting tires on your house, make sure that the occupants of your house are comfortable while they're being displaced. Now, there's just one other item to take care of. Remember that off-brand spare that roadside assistance brought out to me? We'll tackle that in the next video. Wait till you see that solution. Until then, this is Mike with Random Bits RV, and we'll see you on the road.